Okay. Oh, there's Chandra. Now I gotta get the let's see. Oh dear. See if I can find a book. Yeah. Put this under it. Yeah. Like that. Well, unless it's too high. I hate that I don't hate this. Do you want me to get the other one so it's straight across? Another one? They're straight across on the. Well, I need to get the HDR now. Right. Well, then that goes back down down below. We'd have to get something that's yeah. We need something um, other way around. They got a little bit higher. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Okay, so we need something that's where do I? Oh, we need something bigger than my fist. The adapter. Is yeah. the uh, pick eight box there? That was one way of raising it up. What? The pick eight box, the, the little drop box for bingo. Yeah. Where is that? How about this? It's good to me. That. Okay, it's not much. We need something that isn't. If you do that on the front, that's just about perfect. Okay. Now. Put that over there. Now, why did it? Okay. We had it higher when we had it off the beacon, just one of those things, one of those little boxes. There you go. But it works. Um, if there's a the the binder the um that's in the office with all the rental stuff in it. That might be tall enough to um, prop up the laptop as well. Well, this is a projector. Yeah, oh, right now we're focusing that. on propping yeah. up the projector. Okay. Hmm. See, before we put this thing on, we just had this like that. Yeah, it was up higher. Yeah, because it, we didn't have it in the back. See, and that's what would be right. Yeah, so that's why we have it like that. Then I just have to focus it in there. Okay. Look at that. People been showing up. So now, HDMI. Is Kayla going to be here today? Kayla is here. Okay, we should take attendance. Let's try this because Chandra said that it worked better to. 
turn it on after plugging it in. Do you want one of the lights turned on? We'll see, it may not be necessary. There we go, easy peasy. And I know that Brittany said, uh, Brandy said she wasn't gonna be here tonight. Yes, she's out of town. So let me try this. I'm gonna join, but not join sound so that people can see me. There I am. And see so you can I do the same thing. If you want, if you want them to see you. No, that's okay. Yeah. All right. And so the club video is really kind of useless. Although I guess I would have to have it in order to share screen. Well, you've got yours so they can see you. And if you put the agenda on the screen. Right, that's what I'm gonna do. Then we only have to worry about the screen for the right. agenda and not anything else. Yep. All right, this was also emailed out to you about half an hour ago or 20 minutes ago. Oh, and I see that Kayla has, Kayla's doing her job there. Appreciate that. Let me enlarge this so people can see. Well, it's we unsubscribed. <laughs> I hate it when that happens. So I officially call the meeting to order, 6.37 p.m. Let's have a roll call. Kayla's already on top of it. President Matthew Barrett, here. Vice I'm President, go yeah, ahead. Here. Treasurer Brandy Wallace, not present. Secretary Kayla Sullivan. Here. Thank you. Ashley Bridges, not present. Sally Gill. I'm here. Susie Mapes. I'm here. Cheryl Elfstrand. And we've got a guest, Greg Mitchell. Would Greg Mitchell like to become a board member? Oh, we've asked Greg many times. Feel free to ask him again. Did you hear that, Greg? Someone asked if you might like to be a board member. Yes, but you know, a, an organization always needs people in the bleachers and that's what, where I, I feel most comfortable. and. I feel like I can I can do the most help to tell you the truth. I, but it, can I make a suggestion that that just as instead of a guest, um, after my name or whoever's name appears, that they be identified as a member. That's an excellent point. So let's create a separate line for guests. And no, we'll not necessarily. I'm just saying maybe in parentheses, member or oh, okay. sure. Okay. Greg, the only reason I asked you is because you come to all the board meetings 
and you know there are board members, members with worse attendance than you right i i do understand that um and i i appreciate that and i'm flattered but i i just wish physically i could do more uh for the club but right now i'm just an ideas guy and 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 trying to help and encourage the group and okay all i can really do to tell you the truth well, we appreciate everything you can do yes all right so uh we do we not have a quorum we have five i guess we do five out of eight yep we've got a five we've got the quorum. barely sure Shirley usually comes on late yeah so um may i make this suggestion as well i i kind of hinted to this before mr president that yes. that i don't know if i could be at an at large member whatever that means so if you do need somebody to fill in as a board member i'm there are usually there is that a possibility how would that be different from making you a board member i guess i wouldn't feel the pressure to to be here or i i just i like retirement so much that i just <laughs> i love my freedom i just i don't know what it is but uh I, maybe i'm just selfish but well uh, greg there are board members currently exercising that freedom regardless um if you prefer at large after the name if that's what will get you on my board done well, I don't know what what it would it would require from the bylaws to be able to add somebody uh, to enable the club to function, I guess, better, you know. Well, basically, when you add an at large member mm -hmm. to the board, that person, if we don't have enough for a quota, will fill in for quorum. For yeah. quorum. Okay. So they're kind of an, a board member, but yet they're not. Right. Yes. So they're board member, they're they're board member in spirit, but not in actuality. Okay, so uh, that that sounds like that might be exactly what we need. And it just so happens, I noticed on the agenda that we're going to be rewriting the bylaws anyway. So um, we'll make a note of that when the time comes. That if we're re if we're diving back into the bylaws, we might as well dive back in and make room for an at-large board member position i i just think it would behoove the the club being at the stage that it is we're we're, we're so desperate to get people to show up and our membership and everything i just yeah i just think it'd be a, a good feature to have i i agree i did not know that there was such a thing and i am willing to do that Okay. Okay. Well, before we get to that, let's take a look. We need an approval vote for the April 2023 uh, board meeting. So, so I move that we accept the board meeting minutes as written. All right. We have a motion to accept the minutes as written. Uh, question, were the minutes distributed to the board to be written or to be re read? Well, yes and no. They were a link in this document, which was emailed out 20 minutes ago. Okay. So there was a link available in the email that was distributed. If people read that document, they would, would have found it. So... Anyone who thinks it's a little this is a little too fast, it's fine. Just say so, and we'll slow down or aid. I second Sally's motion. Yeah, we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 She already did. All right. Well, that's a majority of those who are here, at least. I, I'll, I'll add my own to that. Oh, I guess I was number five, wasn't I? All yeah. right. You All right. Tiebreaker. Motion carries. But so. Use Greg as a 
fill in. Yeah. So the executive director position, we are still reviewing that. Um, Chandra, how is this position working out for you? Um, I feel like I, it, it, it's been working out well for me. I'm hoping that, you know, others who are, um, have been uh, paying attention. I, I hope that I have been uh, fulfilling my obligations and responsibilities. Um, I think that there are a couple things that we will definitely need to hash out as far as the um, job description, just to make sure there, there was a few things coming up that I didn't know whether or not I was supposed to be uh, clocking hours for, for example. Mm -hmm. um, and so situations like that, I definitely think we need to be a little more clear about. But other than that, I I think it's been going well. Yeah. Um, I agree. And, you know, this is the time for anyone uh, to speak up who has uh, who has been the recipient of Chandra's services to comment on the quantity, the quality. Um, the scope. Uh, I have some thoughts, but I would like to hear from anyone who's been the recipient of this or witnessed her services. What thoughts do we have on this new position? All right. Well, so. Huh? I'm not familiar enough with it. Okay. So um, one of my concerns, Shandra, I thought I think you've been doing great. Um, it is good to see you being compensated for all the work that you already did that was never part of your job to begin with. And just now it is. One of my concerns, and this is something for the board to discuss. I'm open to I'm open to feedback as to whether or not this is a possibility, whether it's already happening, whether it could happen. I'm concerned that now that we have an executive director, all the chairs, or maybe not even all of them, that we, I'm concerned we may have loose boundaries and people will just give everything to her. Um, that's what... Oh, sorry. Sorry, Sally. I think that what we need to do is basically check over the job description and make sure that all the chairmen know what their their jobs are compared to hers mm -hmm. and not just dump it all on her. I agree. I would like to see if we can have an easy rule of thumb. We can't always race back to the job description every time this comes up. But it, we need to update the bylaws and then doing so that would... Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah. Where is the job description for the executive director? I believe it's in the drive. Let me see if I can't look it up. I'm gonna do a thing. Wait, no, never mind. I won't do that. Mr. President, can I make a comment uh, while we're waiting? Yes, please do. <clears throat> this weekend, I attended the Boy Scouts or Cub Scouts uh, big uh, garage sale at uh, Central Valley, and I saw a couch there that was very nice for forty dollars. I'm saying this to say that I haven't given up on the on the furniture committee, and I would like Cheryl to be my co-sponsor or, or co-committee member. Uh, but at the same token, I still want feedback from the bingo, bingo people to say that this is doable or allowable 
or or acceptable because <laughs> pardon me <clears throat> if i do realize that bingo is our our money maker and the space uh pays for itself i mean it's definitely behooves the club to have that space produce revenue so i do understand that but i'm just saying there's deals out there and we could get some furniture uh, in that corner, it, it, I just think it'd be nice. Maybe during the winter when things slow down, I don't know. But I'm just throwing that out there. There is furniture to be had. Oh, I agree there's furniture to be had. The big issue is that it needs to be portable and storable, and we need to have room for it. So that was the thing that was preventing before. And my feedback that I've heard from the rental or from the um, bingo folks is that, yeah, it's uh, a couch is just not going to fit. Okay. Then not right now. I'd like to be excused from the committee uh, <laughs> <laughs> to dissolve the committee. Well, the there was also a related issue and you have to be careful because this is how you go down rabbit holes but there was also talk about increasing our storage using a conex box parking it in the parking lot well obviously having that furniture come and go from a conex is is probably not advantageous to to the function it sure. would be more of a permanent setting not a storage needing storage for it so yeah. um yeah. susie mape says what about a bench um a bench might be easier to move around yeah it's a possibility so we use a benches um, in in our cub scouts they just fold up and i don't know oh folding be, benches yeah but how necessary is this? Do we need? Is it something we absolutely positively need? Because if you want to put benches, you could put benches behind the tables here for bingo if need be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Well, we have the responsibilities and contributions of our executive director here. So rental manager, this is what I'm seeing. Rental manager, membership, events committee, finance committee. Okay. Oh, I should mention that that document was the original one that I was already doing. And I believe Brandy edited it at the bottom. On the next page, maybe right there. That's where Brandy was adding things in. What are your thoughts? I personally think that we need to, when we work on the bylaws, that we need to work on this also. So then it's clear to everyone. Um, because personally, I think that we need all the committee chairs to be at the either general meeting or the or the board meeting to report. So if we have questions like if I have questions towards bingo, they would be here to answer them. Or if I have questions, to, you know, the events committee, I can talk to Shanda anytime, but it's basically a lot of this needs to be put into the bylaws if we're going to do this. Yes, and that's the plan, but it has to be approved. Um, basically, the, the 90 day uh, was to get an idea of what needed to be added, removed, all that. I will say personally that uh, I think taking on the events chair part of things might be a little bit too much for me with the, everything else. I would like to see somebody actually take on the events chairperson. I'm willing to help and assist in any manner, but uh, I do worry that, that that takes a lot of time out for me, especially because I was doing a, a, um, a lot of it behind the scenes. Yeah. 
And that was one of the reasons that I had so many hours this last two weeks was getting ready for the tea party. And I, I would love to see it done with more volunteers, though I know that getting those volunteers is like pulling teeth right now. So I'm willing to do it when, you know, as needed, but I would love to see uh, somebody else take on that events chairperson. Yeah. Yeah, and this is the dilemma because you have a person who's events chair and they're doing all this work and they're seeing Chandra and they're like, I'm not getting paid for this. Right, because, well, she's events chair. So she's putting that as part of her, what she's she's working. She's not events chair. She, yeah, she works I, with you. She is right I now. took on events chair once Shonda stepped down in hopes that somebody else would be able to step up and nobody oh, was Oh, I to. see. Yeah, yeah, and it's, well... So yeah. a lot of what she's been doing for the events has been is now being paid for. Right. It wasn't before. Yep. Yep. Yeah. And that's where we need to, you know, tighten things up. And yes. That's where I wanted things to be very clear. Uh, because I didn't know as, as far as the things go, whether or not I was supposed to be. Um, Brandy had basically she had put her opinions in, I believe, the finance group. Um, let me see if I can pull that up. I'll read what she but wrote. But she thought it should be paid. You should be paid for it. Well, for shopping and stuff. The problem is that once we have an, a person paid, we cannot give them any responsibilities without paying them. Exactly. And this is, um, and so with someone like Chandra who does so much we actually this is one of the things I was worried about we're actually limiting her utility because we can't ask her to do things that we could ask of an ordinary club member because an ordinary club member would be a volunteer and she can't right and a lot of well I just did that I'll go I'll talk about that later my friend um, so this is what Brandy had wrote. I had, I said, I need clarification. Am I supposed to be clocking hours for things like the tea party? Brandy said FLSA regulation states that public and nonprofit employees for nonprofit private may volunteer their services, but the services they volunteer must not be part of their regular job duties and often cannot be performed, cannot be performed their regular working hours. Uh, so if it is part of your regular duties, the club must pay you. If it is not part of your club duties, the club say yes or no to pay you. But I would encourage the club to update the job description to include pay if the club pays. Hope that makes sense. I am in support of you, the executive director, to get paid as I believe the ED should be a part of putting on successful events, but solicit for volunteers to help. Okay, so Brand. she's recommending that events chair, sounds like she's recommending that events chair be made part of your duties. Yes. No, I don't see that in front of finance. So. And how do you feel about that? Do you feel like that's too much? I'm willing to. I just worry that all these extra hours are going to put me over my, because um, currently I have a 20-hour limit per week. Right. That and sounds so things like that could put me over my hours. Right, Sally? We would also start a precedence that like bingo, you know, bingo chair would be paid. Um, finance would be paid. Every, all these different committees would be paid. Mm -hmm. I think and what they'd be saying is they'd be taking off person. that committee chairperson, but I could be wrong. And so that's where my, my concern would be. Yes. Because right now, financially, we're really tight. Yes. Right. Well, but the thing is, this job already subsumes previous committee chair positions. It already subsumes the membership committee chair and the, the um, publicity committee. Yeah. So it really now it's going to be a question of does this subsume two committees or three and with events yeah 
I can I can really I can see a case either way. Yeah. Because on the one hand, if we add events to your duties, then that will be all, then we will have all the major duties of this club be done by employees and the rest, it will be things that are appropriate for volunteers. Right. On the other hand, yeah, it, it's, it, it'll take you over, it'll take you over the, the 20 have, hours a week. And then it's a question of whether we can afford it. We'd have to change the number of hours that she works. But can we afford that? See, that's where we need to, finance needs to get together okay. and talk. All right. Well, we brought it up in finance and was told we'd bring it, we'd talk about it at the board meeting. So it's kind of bouncing back and forth. And that's one of the things. Right. Well, it sounds like out. it's going to have to go back to finance committee because, well, two of the major members of that committee are not present here. So yeah. we're going to have to knock it back to them. I mean, Randy, who else? Cheryl. Cheryl. Cheryl and myself. Right. So we are missing two of the three members of that committee. One of whom is the treasurer. So, yeah. Um, I mean, at this point, do we even have any committees that are committee chair people that are not me? Besides <laughs> finance? No. <laughs> uh, we Teresa have. still bingo. Yeah, bingo manager, that's not a committee, though. Right. The bingo committee is an ad hoc committee. Um, it's different. Uh, so, well, we've got the security. We've got security, which is unoccupied. We've got the community garden. And that's it. Okay. Security, building committee. Like Greg mentioned, the furniture committee. That was an ad hoc. Was that actually added? No. Okay. It was as needed. Yeah, he just dissolved it. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. so, yeah, I think we're going to have to have another finance meeting to discuss the and update our budget as well as our bylaws, but we're not going to be able to update the bylaws until we update my job description in this particular situation. Yeah. Um, so we would not even be able to present it to the meeting, the membership meeting this next month unless we can get it done before then. I um I don't know how far we can push this here without them there. But um satisfy my curiosity, Chandra. How many hours a week if we if uh you had the events committee duties, uh, events committee chair duties? How many hours a week? would that take you to? Well, before the tea party, I was averaging between 15 and 18 hours a week. Um, and then once I was doing the tea party, there was one week I was up to almost 30. And the week before that was 25, I believe. Okay. So it, it adds about another 10 hours a week, give or take depending on the uh, event and how much we've done in the past. Cause this one we had, um, we had a new theme. We had, you know, new things like that. Right. Where yeah, like yeah. Artisan marketplace for the most part, all of that has already been, you know, established. Right. Um, so certain events are gonna take more than others for sure. Okay, Sally. But when you write it up, we're talking about maximum per week. Um, on the average, you're not going to be more than 25 hours a week. So we wouldn't go, say like up and down. We would just put up to 25 hours per week. Yeah. 
Yeah, and yeah. that's basically what it's at now too, yeah. Well, that right, right now it's maximum of 20, whereas this one would be a maximum of 25. Yeah. So um, at a maximum of 25, do you think you could space out your hours for the event so you just got stuff done? Uh, I think I can with with a uh, with a good team with you know as long as because we that was one thing that really helped with this last event is that I had Sally and Susie and Cheryl um, Scarlett Shush. I had all of them there to assist. That's good to hear. Yeah, I think we're going to table this until we can hear from the finance committee, but it's in the notes that we are considering increasing from 20 to 25 hours. We want to know from the finance committee whether or not that's possible. But I, I would actually, this isn't on the agenda. I would like to hear how the tea party went from any participants who would like to tell me. Um, I, I felt I was very sad I could not join. Um, Susie, did you have, I mean, because obviously I have stuff to say, but I'd love to hear what Susie and everybody else has to say too. Yeah. So I had posted on uh, my Facebook page and my friend came and so she was really excited and my friend really enjoyed go going. She posted those pictures for her Mother's Day, you know, uh, post, I guess. What was our total attendance? Um, Scarlett, can you please turn that down? I think we, uh, let me look, let me think. 20? I think it was right around 20, yeah. Which we did not have peach jar and we did not have, um, what was the other one? Uh, macaroni, was like macaroni kids, uh, yes. or it was like 20 is not bad. Kids, kids, for, no, but kids two, at kid, what is it called? It's not macaroni kids, it's uh, the mac. Well, uh, kids, yeah, there's the directory. Yes, all right. So, but 20 is not bad for bad advertising, except as Sally pointed out, it was buy two, get one free. So how did we do as far as as far as paying participants? Um, we had I don't have the numbers in front of me because I didn't I didn't realize we were talking about it today. Um, but I do have Brandy has all the numbers there in front of her. We had um, multiple purchases online and some of them were same day purchases. Okay. Um, and then but we did have one refund because their daughter was sick. So we had to return um, that ticket that would have brought our uh, numbers up to two more. Uh, but I did hear a lot of people say that had we had more advertising, that the theme and the, the party itself would have been um, very well received. Everybody was saying, you know, it, it went really well, that the um, decorations were nice, that it was a good flow, the food was good. You know, we didn't, I don't think we got any complaints. Okay, so at least the quality was good. Yes. I, I think that that's a good start. Chance. It You know, even running an event at a loss, if the quality is good, then that's a plus. Um, okay, so if the quality, it, definitely, I think you and I see about the same on the quality of our events, Chandra. So if you say the quality was good, that's that's good enough for me. Um, I hope we didn't lose too much money. Uh, I can get those numbers uh, more official for the membership meeting. Yeah, I, that would be great. Have, yeah, and then Greg does have a hand, his hand up. Oh, yes, Mr. Greg. Yes, I'm spitballing here. Um, so going back to Chandra's hours, rather than, yeah. having, rather than having her either a maximum or minimum of 20 to 25 weekly, is there some way we can give her a maximum amount of hours? She can give us a maximum amount of hours per month. That way, I, I feel like she's being limited either way if on a weekly basis. Please, Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah, Sally. 
but the th what my thought was she said a regular week was 15 to 18 hours right and she can go up to 20 hours a week but if she has one week where she goes to 30 and the others are 15 to 20 it averages out to be about 20 to 25 months hours a week is what I was thinking. Yes. The question That's is how do we express too. that average? Do we max her out at 25 hours a week? That and, would be a hundred hours a month. Right. Or do we give her a set number of per month, a hundred hours a month? And just you know? do you pay weekly? Yes. So again, these are all questions for the finance committee. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Good questions though. And Kayla, if you can, if I, I, I can't see the uh, um, notes right now, but if you're able to take note of the questions that are being asked so that we can bring them up uh, better at the finance committee, that would be very helpful. Yeah. Sure, and at least in my case, feel free to, uh, Kayla, you can highlight a particular point on the agenda there, right click, and it will give you the opportunity to tag someone in a comment. So okay. I tag Yeah, it's just like Facebook. You can hit at and then the name and they will get notice. Yes, and it will send me an email. It, I, I do that to myself all the time. I actually tag myself in a comment just to create a reminder. I think that's a feature of the uh, this technology that we need to be using more of, especially because that would allow us to tag Brandy when she's not here. Okay, I will play around with that and try and get that sorted out here. That'd be great. Sure. I'm sorry, I should say that would allow us to tag anybody who is not here. Isn't that a tradition? That whoever's not here gets all the assignments. Pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah. All right. Um, what else? So that takes us to uh, the bylaws being do we need to have a committee for the updating the, of the bylaws? So I see Sally nodding. Any volunteers for the update the bylaws committee? Sally. I could take the bylaws and just kind of go through and see if I can make corrections and bring it to a group, to one of the groups. Yeah, well, that I can also show you how to use that comment feature where you're gonna highlight a section and propose this should be changed to or whatever. So, I honestly think that we should be we should have all of the board members as the bylaw group and then any uh, volunteers from the, the membership um, because we have all been so in Scarlet because we have all been so uh, in the midst of it and yeah. you know I I really think that this would be um, if we can get everybody who's on the board to commit to coming in maybe an hour or two prior to a meeting, um, maybe we can start working on those again and getting those done. Yeah, um, I, I agree. We need to get the whole board involved in this. And I think that, again, that's something where we can use the features of Google Docs. So we don't always, I and mean, we can't, we can call a meeting, but we can also get a lot done independently in between meetings using the comments features. So, Sally. Could we possibly send out to all the board and, you know, the executive board? Yeah. Um, a copy of the bylaws with a, a note saying, please look out, review, and make, and be prepared to make comments on this as of such and such a date. Yeah. Like next meeting, meeting at five o'clock. Yeah. So we have about an hour, hour and a half. Yep. So yes, we can do that. And that way we have a chance to read Just a second. I have a call. I need to take this. Hey, Chris, what's up? So when, when should we meet? Probably at five o'clock 
before the next um, membership meeting, member general meeting, which would be the first Monday of June. So that would be uh, June 5th would be the next one. Right, it's right after the um, uh, marketplace. Uh, the <laughs> Uh, and I do want to let everybody know that the bylaws are also posted on our website if you want to just get familiar with them. Because like I, I I'll probably print them off and work that way. Yeah, and they're also in the Google Drive. And everybody who is um, a board member also has access to them in the Google Drive. And if you need help, I can help with that too. But I am going to post the, the link here so that you have access to those. They were updated two years ago. Just make sure if you are in the actual document that you are leaving comments, not actually changing the bylaws. Or make your own notes on the side. Just don't edit in the, the document unless you're just making comments. <laughs> Someone singing. She's always singing. And I, I had her out of the room, but she snuck back in and now she don't want to leave because you know mom's busy. Of course. Darn it. You know, if some of us who like to have the paper, we can print them off and then write our notes to bring into the meeting. Yes, and I will say that there is also a copy already printed out in the office hanging up on uh, on the cork board in there. So if you want copies before you leave, that's easily done. I can just print them off at home so then we can get out of here faster. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Matthew, welcome back. All right, so let's see. I appreciate Kayla that you are uh, recording the meeting. So you've got that resource. We've got a lot of technology that we need to use. Oh, and you're using the, the already using the comment stuff. So yes, we can send out the bylaws and encourage people to use the comments, highlight, right click, comment. And we did this before with people who were not familiar with the technology um, and they learned it. They made it work. And so we got a lot done between meetings. So yes, I can actually, I, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna send a message to myself. Send out copy of bylaws to board. And this is Matthew Barrett will do so. Everyone watching, comment. And it says add others with at. So I'm gonna say at, hey, look at that. First things on the list. You'd think that it knows. Assigned to Matthew Barrett. The assigned person will be notified and responsible for marking as done. So these are features that we can use more. Ah, and Kayla, you used it. So yeah, I will send out a copy of the bylaws once I get that reminder to myself. And I'll send that out to the board. And hopefully, um, if it, I, I know obviously not all of us are here, but we'll teach people it's not that hard to do what I just did. So this brings us to new business. What do we got there? We've got the barbecue, the club cleanup, and the homeschooler rental rates. What's the status on the barbecue? Pardon me if I pace. 
Um, so we have it on the calendar for the first Saturday in June, which I believe is June 3rd. Um, and we were planning on having it at Viewpoint Park so that we can kind of remember that that part is there. And um, my only concern is if everybody comes, we're going to need everybody to bring their own chairs. So I wasn't sure. And, and then we're, we'll have to situate the barbecue um, situation. So um, events committee does not meet until the 26th. So next Monday, uh, which is a little late because it's coming up in June. Um, Sally? Okay. Uh, the first weekend of June is our artisan market. We uh, The barbecue was supposed to be the first week of July. My apologies. You're correct. You're oh, correct. It is July. Me. Did you guys just solve everything? Yep. Yep. Thanks, Sally. This is why you're my silly girl. That's why I'm a silly Sally. <laughs> wow. Yeah. This is Cheryl here. My clock was is slow by half an hour, so I just just realized that. So sorry, I'm late. Glad to have you, Cheryl. Okay. Yes, because we were, because uh, if we had the barbecue on Sat the first Saturday of June, we'd be having to rush from, you know, the artisan market over there. Yeah, that would be a little much. I don't, I don't think we're ready for two events at once. And we did. No, that was my mistake. <laughs> doing it in July instead of a Fourth of July party. Correct. And then the I, my thought was, um, which I have not presented to the events group yet. But what if we did the cleanup that same day and then celebrated the clean area with a barbecue? That would work. Yeah, and you can set up a canopy too, or one or two canopies if you need to. Yes, because we have those canopies that we purchased for uh, in the past. So we can set those up, um, have everybody bring chairs. And then if we do the cleanup in the first half of the day, and then the barbecue, the second half of the day, um, it would kind of be beneficial for those showing up to the cleanup. Okay, I have a question. Yes, Sal. If we do it the first week, the first weekend of July, is there a possibility of getting the cadets to come in or the Boy Scouts or somebody like that? Because we've got more than six weeks until that happens. Not the cadets, I don't know about scouts. Um, but we could also get our homeschooling group. Uh, they offer to assist as well. And I, I mean, the whole, the whole thing about the cleanup was we were wondering who we would have to work on it. Yes. If we open it up to everybody, all of our different groups that we, you know, are connected with, we would have, we'd probably have to put up more hot dogs, you know, to feed everybody, but that wouldn't be that bad. That sounds like a wonderful problem to have. But we have enough time to give them the information so we they can schedule it. Yeah. Not, anyway, that's just my idea. So not that and again, the Boy Scout group we charter currently consists of one and a half scouts. So, but if just the homeschoolers, if we can give them enough notice. So do I understand then that these two, the next two events we're proposing, we combine them, the barbecue and the club cleanup? Well, we have the event, the artist's market first. So that's okay. not the next two. All right, my mistake. So, so, but the two events on the agenda, the barbecue and the club cleanup, are we proposing we combine them? Um, I don't like the idea of combining those two together. You do? I, no, I don't. All right. Why not? And the, the homeschool group, they don't meet in the summer. They take it off. Mm -hmm. Ah. Devil's in the details. Do you have um do you have another date or another time that you think would be better for the uh, the cleanup? Oh, did we lose her? 
No, you lost me. Okay. I wanted my phone back. Susie, did you have did you have a um, maybe a better idea for when we can do the cleanup or reason what why if we do it before the artisan market? So. Uh, the market is a whole weekend, basically from nine to three every day. Do you mean on the same day as the artisan marketplace? Because that would not work. No, no. And I guess the weekend before is a Memorial Day weekend and we don't want. Yeah, that's where we're struggling. What? No, I'm not understanding about. Um... It says the uh, barbecue first Saturday in July because that's Fourth of July weekend and a lot of people will be doing family things, et cetera. And, and the general meeting would be normally on Monday. And there's the question, um, which is the third. And the question is if we wanna do anything on the Fourth of July weekend. Sally. The barbecue that we're talking about would be on July 1st. Most okay. We have to work on the third, which is Monday. Yeah, I know. But the thing is, it's a lot of people leave town on Friday and they're gone all the 4th of July weekend. They're not going to be around. But and um, in the 4th of July, I think is going to be Tuesday. But then Monday, of course, is a holiday. And if that's our general meeting, there's another issue about that. Because when we did Labor Day weekend, we didn't have the general meeting until the 2nd. Wait a second, we don't have a general meeting in July and August. Sorry about that. All right. We'll Never do. mind, I forgot. But anyway, it's it's Fourth of July weekend and you know your people are gone and everything. I just think it's a really um, we just wouldn't have as much uh, success successful turnout for that weekend. Well, Monday is not a holiday. I know, but it's the holiday weekend. People go out of town. So anyway. I, I don't know. I I don't, I don't know how much we can plan around what other people might or might not do. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, people throw holiday, uh, 4th of July parties all the time. And people attend or they don't, depending on their own plans. Mm -hmm. There's no different than that. Sally. We have this scheduled as a member's dinner, and we have that as a barbecue um, mm -hmm. because we we save the first weekend of every month for something and for the event. So, you know, whether we have five people show up for the for it or a hundred people, we, we just yeah. need to have an idea. We'll have the event for whoever's there. And Any other thoughts? Yes, this is Greg. I, I have a thought. Go, no, Greg. Okay, the, so the cleanup, I'm just trying to get this straight. The cleanup is for the club, not the park. Correct. Right. Okay. I, I'm going to go against Susie's, which is, I, I think, a cleanup from like uh, nine, especially if it's going to be hot during this time, uh, clean up during maybe eight to 11, and then get the barbecue going and kind of infuse everything with a cleanup, uh, a barbecue, and a membership drive. I think it, it, would, it would be okay. Well, Susie had an objection to combining them. I would like to hear more why. Um, I just thought it would be too much. I, I guess my, my stance is I like rewarding people for their hard work mm -hmm. and I, I think a, a, a meal would be a way to do that that's that's mm -hmm. all my, my concern not on the concern but my idea well, when we had the cadets when we did the cleanup we always had a big meal afterward we brought a potluck where we had sometimes we had hamburgers grilling out there but that was the reward for the work we always had a big meal on that day when we had cleanup day and if we get str stragglers that's mm -hmm. okay. We'll feed them, feed them too. I think it's a good way to promote the community club mm -hmm. idea. I think it'd be a good way to seek membership. 
or let people know what we do, what we do. Having three events in one day is not that bad. Well, I wouldn't see they, it as three events in one day. I would see it as a single combined event. Right. And I understand Susie's concern about it, is it too much for one event? But if binding them might be easier than holding all of those separately. Well, we basically we if we're cleaning, we feed them. There's our barbecue. Yeah. And if people like Greg said, if somebody comes, there's our membership drive. Right. So three three events in one day, basically, or three ideas for one event. Yeah. And th this is Chandra Lynn. Um, I wanted to say that uh, I, I do think that it would be possible because we do have a kitchen crew that can focus on the food side of things. And then our events committee will create a list of um, tasks that need to be completed. People can sign up for those tasks so that they already know what they're going to be doing beforehand. Um, so that takes away some of the confusion once we get there. Um, and we focus on the outdoor stuff and then the kitchen crew um, and whichever you know team that they need can go set up at Viewpoint Park and then once we are all done, we just all kind of head down there. And I, I do think that it is completely doable because like Cheryl was saying, we always used to feed the cadets in the past as well. I think it's a good good motivation for people to show up to the cleaning um, and help out as well. So that that's my two cents. All right, so is this something that sound? But we also have to look at budgeting here. If we're going to bring the kitchen crew in, they're going to want to be paid for working and to be paid, you know, and pay for them to work. It's going to kind of decrease our amount of money we have that was is very scarce to start with. Well, we're either spending the money on the kitchen crew or spending the money on the barbecue fee. I mean, where are we getting the barbecue from? Well, no having them come and cook the barbecue instead of having volunteers do it. Okay. All right. This is what I'm talking about. We have to look at the budget for that. Okay. And as far as that goes, they could be making hamburgers and hot dogs and then everyone could bring like sides, salads or dessert or that would reduce the cost. That would reduce the cost. Now before the uh, about the club right. used to furnish the meat and then we did all of the side dishes and desserts, but they just furnished the meat as all was all the club did. Okay. So that would mean that we would be you would limit the hours, maybe they want to work for three hours. Right. Two or three hours to cook. And then from that point on, it's done. Okay. So is there a motion on the table? Sally. I move that on July 1st, we have a cleanup and a thank you barbecue. And if anyone comes by, a membership drive. Well, everything is a membership drive. Well, everything's a membership drive. Right, yes. But I think, but I think having it on July 1st, everything on July 1st kind of condenses the yeah. The time, the money, the effort. All right. I second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Yeah, I have one one question. Um, okay, you're gonna have you're gonna have your cleanup, and you know you have to take you have to have a fair bulk of time to be able to to do, especially if you're doing yard work stuff. And then if you do the barbecue, the thing is. Um, the idea about going over to the park, um, why wouldn't you just keep it where, we at, where we're at? Because the logistics would be just easier. It'd be nice to go to the park, but you know, you're know you doing a couple things and you, you could just do it outside there, put up some copies and not have to have people go to the park because they may not choose to do that. Sally. Unless we were to be cleaning up the park, I agree. If we're cleaning yeah, up, also, then yes, we can have the barbecue there. 
But having it here is just fine. It's just fine too. Yeah, because Debbie Debbie Curry is usually is cleaning up in the park. She does a great job. She usually handles that totally. And um, you know, you could have another event at the park. You know, we might be really hot here. We we have some options, but it's just the logistics of of you want to we you we used to have it with the cadets. We we had a long day. We might finish at six o'clock was when we started to eat, but we had a long day and just doing the outside work. And of course, we had indoor. We had two teams going, and it was it took a long time to do a lot of that stuff, especially the parking lot cleanup and weeds and just a lot of stuff and depending on num a number of people. So just just have it in one place, it's just easy. We set up a canopy once we had barbecues going and for the meat and then you have all your side dishes. It just made it really easy then and the cleanup also didn't take much time. So to clarify, Sally, I didn't hear a location in your proposal. I didn't give a location. All right, so the, mm -hmm. the there, the current motion on the table mm -hmm. would allow for having that barbecue here. Is there any further discussion? Sally. The events committee would be the ones who decide where, if it's going to be here or at the park. Right. So we just want to make sure that we have it and then we have it on our. Yeah. The motion. We're just That's putting all. it on the calendar. And then we'll let the events worry about the rest. Jenner, you can hate me later. <laughs> oh, I heard you're signing up to be the events chair. That, that's what I heard. Okay. <laughs> no, I don't want to right. pay a job. <laughs> and Susie, uh, if you're still opposed to combining these, votes don't have to be unanimous. We haven't used the minority report system in a while, but I still have, it still have, has a very special place in my heart. Uh, I'm gonna call for the question. All in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion carries. And I just want to make note that Ashley Bridges is here, so the uh, role can be updated. And welcome, Ashley. We missed you. We missed you, Ashley. Long time no see. Thank you so much. Sorry for going MIA, guys. Uh, you had good reason. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm sure that Chandra can update you on all the things we assigned to you. Yes, yeah, so far you're a chairperson of every committee. <laughs> Good to have you back. Thank you. All right. Okay. Sally? So we, we put that up, right? Motion carries, yes. So the combination of these two events is, is now official. All right. Next thing is homeschoolers. Rent. Next thing, homeschoolers rental rates. So, Chandra, what is the question about the homeschooler rental rates? Okay, so just to catch everybody up, last year um, we donated the entire year's tuition or rentals for our homeschoolers. We and it actually has been going really, really well. Um, they. Uh, they have taken over our gardening committee. Um, they have found their place and their numbers are growing. They did join as members as well, which increased our membership roster to uh, over 50 people. It, you know, so it was beneficial for us. Um, it also gives us access to, or not access, but uh, we are, we're able to, uh, pitch a lot of our child kid kid friendly family events to this group as well and they have been showing some interest um so i do think it is beneficial to have them continue uh staying with us however uh we had not talked about whether we are going to start charging normal rates if we're going to give them a discounted rates or if we wanted to donate another year um the one um uh, I lost my train of thought. The uh 
the one benefit to us donating is the um, the amount of rentals that we are donating goes towards our nonprofit uh, because we have to give back to so many other nonprofits, et cetera. So that money is included in that um, number. Yeah, yeah. I, I, think I, might, I lost the word for it, but yes. So I, I think Sally may be picking up what you're throwing down. Sally, what do you think? That's got? what I was going to say that maybe we should. You know, have it because as a nonprofit, we we have certain charities that we have to yeah. contribute to, and I would be all for giving them another year. So, is that a motion? I move that we give the homeschoolers one day a week for the next school year for free as our donation to a nonprofit. Okay, do you have something I want to add to that before a motion is made? Well. Um, we Second, we can have a discussion. Okay, I'll, I want to add to the discussion then. Yeah. Anyone? So, anyone second? Second. All right. We have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? Yes. So they are looking into adding an additional day. Um, they were looking into. Um, coming in on, so doing a Monday and a Tuesday. Um, so the Monday would be for a lesser time. They're looking at just doing like um, one class and possibly a club. Um, and they would be working around the Monday that NARF um, is here. Um, they have, um, they do have $2,700 that they are willing to donate uh, back to us, which also helps with their, um, their circumstances as well as far as giving back. So my proposal was that we accept that $2,700, but give them basically the one day for free and the $2,700 would be for the additional day. Also a can go for air conditioning. <laughs> yeah, and it would cover their costs for um, like the bathroom uh, supplies mm -hmm. and, and things like that that they're using mm -hmm. that would help to cover those costs. And then we they would be donating, but they would still get one year, one school year, which I believe is 29 weeks that we mm -hmm. would donate for free. Mm -hmm. Well, also we're getting the benefit of increasing membership and then people coming out for events. I think there were a fair number of those people came to the T, if I'm not mistaken. I, I did get to stay for the whole thing, but we're getting other kinds of, of benefits from it and recognition. So I think over the long haul with the club benefits as a whole. Oh, did you enjoy the T, Cheryl? I had to leave. My back was killing me. I had I, I helped set up Friday and then I came about 10 and I left about 2.15. Uh, so I didn't actually get to stay for the tea, but I helped with the setup and everything. And I was curious about how many showed up and what their reaction was. Um, well, Cheryl, I can talk to you about that uh, on the side. Let's, yeah, uh, that's fine. Yeah, I just, I, just, I, didn't, I wasn't there because he asked. I had to leave because my back was bothering me after about four hours. So I had to leave. Sally. My thought, and it's only my thought, you guys can say, forget it, but. My thought is, since they're only at, they're adding Mondays for part of the time, mm -hmm. that if we were going to charge them, we would pay have a minimal, and they would so then it still goes towards the um, nonprofit, mm -hmm. maybe like a hundred a month, which is next to nothing. You figure that's about twenty twenty five dollars a week for the Monday for the short term. So they're giving us, you said 2,700? Yes, they have They have budgeted 2,700. <laughs> Which would be nice, but and, that cuts down on the weekly. And if that was, so that 2,700, oh, hold on, divided by 29 weeks is $93 a week. $93 yeah. a week as opposed to a hundred a month would be Sally's. 
well, why not just do it for the year? You know, they're offering money for this year, and then we can reassess what the arrangement would be for next year because we don't, we won't know. Well, we're talking about next year, the 2023 to 2024 school year. Oh, yes. you're talking, I, okay, you're talking so, about next, okay. So the current motion on the table is donating one day a week to them, uh, to the homeschoolers, and it, uh, one uh, the Tuesday, Tuesday of every week. That is the current motion on the table. The current motion on the table has nothing to say, good or bad, about Mondays. Correct. And it doesn't need to be amended to include that necessarily. Mm -hmm. So I call for the current question. That we donate the Tuesdays. That we donate the Tuesdays. You're talking it's, about this year or next year? That's what I'm confused. Next year, 23, We've 24. already donated it for this year. We're talking right, okay. about We're not adding on anything more this year. 2024 school year. Okay, Correct. all right, that's fine. It's for next year, okay. Okay. Is there any further discussion on just donating the Tuesday? All in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Now, Sally. My question is, if they were paying for, for, my, for the Tuesday, how much would they be paying per day? As a nonprofit, they would be paying two ninety five for the day. Two ninety five. Okay. So that two ninety five versus, if they want to pay for Monday, the ninety three dollars would take care of it. That exactly. We're already that would cover their their costs for bathroom use, and that would cover the costs for any janitorial aftercare things like that. So it would it would help to uh, bridge the gap between any uh, debts that we took on from taking them on. So Sally, are you proposing they pay the, the normal full price nonprofit rate for Mondays? No. No. Okay. I would like to make a motion. Oh, Chandra's, uh, what's your motion? I'd like to move. I move uh, that we allow the homeschoolers to use the Mondays as needed with exception to the Mondays that NARF is going to be there at the cost of $90 for that day. So that would be 270 for the each month. So it'd be less than the $93 that they're proposing. Correct. We have a motion on the, on the table. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any further? Uh, well, I have some further discussion. Um, so they're already proposing uh, giving us $2,700. Correct. So, okay. But this, um, well, let me make sure I'm doing the math properly in my head. So, how much divided by 29 weeks? Right. That's what uh, right now. No, here's the math I want to know about. How much would we normally charge a nonprofit to rent for half a day? We don't have half day rates as of right now. So it would be at what? Two, 295. 295. It would be. So we are, are, we are allowed then to record the additional donation of most of Monday on our taxes. Correct. And it's $93.10.3448.2. I like rounding it to 90. I am, yeah, I, I love nice round numbers. That's why I went to 90. <laughs> All right. So at $90 a day at 29 days, it would be $2,610. At least our calculators agree. Yep. Sally's right here with you. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Thank you.
You're welcome. Well, they would kind of get a member's discount, right? Oh, that's, yeah, they would have them. Yeah, that even with the member's discount, this is going to be quite, quite the, uh, this is going to look good in our, in our books. Because that's like $205 difference. Yeah. For the nonprofit net amount. Yep, yep. All right. All right. Upcoming events. We've got the events committee meetings. Um, yeah, please come support the events committee. Yes. Mr. President, I have a comment. Yes, go ahead, Greg. Uh, if you're wrapping things up, I want to get in there for you. Click sure, on. yes. Um, did Rex stripe the parking lot i haven't been up there i don't know i didn't see no the parking lot has not been striped yet okay i would like to be able to contact rex and i would like to donate volunteer a couple of my hours to helping him dust off the parking lot uh so the reason he hasn't striped it yet is because he needs to do so after the club cleanup because that's part of the club cleanup so it, the best way to donate your hours would probably be to come come to the club cleanup and we'll give you that part of the job and okay. give you food afterwards and we'll feed you afterwards it'll be yeah, great i i think it's going to create so much dust that that uh, i think we should do it before and he and i can do that before i think okay do you, do you have his contact information no i don't is there some way you can email uh, Greg, me? I will I will send you an email with Rex's okay. contact information. Okay, and he and I will handle that then. Okay, thank you. Thank you so Great. much. Um, I you. will also be sending out an email to the entire membership with a sign up for tasks for our July 1st cleanup party. So keep an eye on your email for that. And the sooner we get people signed up, uh, the better. That way we can get a better idea of how much food we need to prepare as well. That sounds great. Yeah. Anything else for the good of the club? Yeah. Sally. I move that we adjourn. Seconded. Motion and a second. Any further discussion? No. All in favor? Aye. 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 Bye. <laughs> Bye. I I'm out of here. Okay, everyone, stay cool. You too. You too. Help it. Bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs> Bye. We miss you. I promise I'll be around more. Thank you. I'll hold you to that. <laughs> <laughs> Which also off topic, since we've already um, dismissed and all that, uh, sure. specifically at, away from the club, specifically aimed at Ashley, uh, get in contact with me because I want to hit up your uh, sewing seamstress services. Okay. Oh boy. Hey, I got snack duty for June. Okay. All Is right. It, for general meeting. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Yes. And then so we will have the coffee and tea and apple cider available. Bless you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Congratulations again, Ashley, on all your uh, assignments. Oh, dear. <laughs> yes, I'm very excited to see everything I got signed up for. <laughs> Bye, all. Have a good week. You too. Bye. Bye. And Susie, I did see your request for uh, Rex's information too. I'm going to email that to you and Greg right now. Danke. Danke schön. Auf Wiedersehen. Okay.